This commission that we're inaugurating today, I think, has been overdue because some time ago, about this time last year, a similar thing happened. And because we believed that we are one family, that whatever differences we have, definitely will be resolved internally. But it has become very clear that rather than get close to the path of peace, that this state is gradually turning to, when I say a kingdom, where law and order are no longer the order of the day. And we can't fold our hands and allow such a thing to happen. On the 5th of October, about uh, four days ago, we had an election in this state. Before the election, we also had from a lot of quarters, songs of war, threats, but we never took it serious because we believe a local government election is the prerogative of the state government. It has nothing to do with anybody anywhere that is outside the confinement of our state. And for that reason, we believed strongly that whatever it is, we could manage it to produce the purpose of that election. But it became very unfortunate that after the election, even while the election was going on, several things happened which we managed, thinking it was going to end there. The day after the election, there was also more threat from people. And we also thought it was just a normal threat, believing that it was not going to be out of hand. But it's really unfortunate that on Monday, yesterday, that we recorded one of the things that happened between 2014, before 2015 in this state, when courts were being bombed, when people's houses were being dynamited, when murder and assassination was the order of the day that led to even the closure of courts. We can't fold our hands as a government and allow it to occur again or repeat itself in this state. So I've decided to take this action to find out the immediate and remote causes of this. And most importantly, no matter the personality involved, we must bring them to book. So this assignment is a very, very important assignment. It's an assignment that if it is not done rightly, will give this enemy of the state opportunity to continue. And if we get it right, it's going to be the end of further destruction of public property in the state. I know it's going to be very taxing. I can assure you there will be threats, but you have to be strong. You have to be strong. 